Outer game, dressing to attract. You don't have to be a model or a pretty boy to attract the eye of a woman. Knowing what colors look good with your skin, hair, and eyes will do the work of attracting the interest of lots of women around you. Unfortunately, many nerdy types have trouble accepting this truth, and this is a major cause of their helplessness, hopelessness, and total failure in the dating game. Let's look at some basic styles of clothes, such as jeans, and how to make them work for your game. With me is Jovina Nascimento, who is a dressing stylist expert. And we're gonna start with some boot jeans. Okay, we have here a pair of boot cut jeans. And you notice that they're cut, or cut wider at the bottom to be able to fit if you wanna wear boots. Some guys would maybe wear cowboy boots with that. I don't recommend cowboy boots. Not if you're going to a club. The shoes he's got on are great. You can wear shoes with this kind of a jean. You must pay close attention to the length of the jeans. You don't want them to bunch up any more than they look right there in the front of this photograph. And this is a back view of the same pair of jeans. And you notice the hemline hits just at the right point of the heel of his shoe, the very top part of the heel of his shoe. So you still see the heel of the shoe. You don't want it to be dragging on the ground. So this is the proper fit for a pair of jeans. And this is a close-up of the shoes that he's wearing and the, and the cut of the, of the legs on on that same pair of jeans. I actually like those that pair of jeans right there. I'd wear those myself. And the shoes a great are really pair nice. Of jeans. They're a great pair of jeans. And this is a great way to go to the club. If you put on the right shirt with it, you can look fantastic. Now we have a pair of gray uh, pants here, it looks gray like. Gray pants. They look um, really good on him. You notice he has brown shoes with it. And a brown belt, Which, too. And a brown belt, yes. Looks like the shirt's kind of brownish, too, I guess. Uh, it's hard to tell. It's kind of like maybe burgundy-ish, brownish type of, uh, of a color. But, yeah, that's that's fine. I mean, he, the pants are gray, and you could do – it's a neutral color. So when you're going with a neutral color like black, gray, navy, blue, you can use any color with it, whether okay. it be the brown shoes or the black. You don't have to go oh, okay. with black okay. shoes yeah. just as long as you're – in a neutral color. So that's a really good look too. That's a little more professional. Yeah, I noticed the longness of the sleeves of the shirt, the brown right. uh, matches the brown of the shoes, the brown belt, Right. and it ties into the uh, shirt looks like. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, wonderful, okay, okay. And this is This the is the back view of the, of the slacks, and you notice, again, the length of the pants right at the heel, right at the top of the heel, so you can see the heel of the shoe. And you can see that it's a really good fit on him. They're not baggy, sagging off his butt. He's got a, a nice fit on him. Looks like he changed his belt, though. This is no longer a brown belt, but that's okay. Uh, not necessarily. It might be the lighting. Oh, okay. Oh, I, that okay. makes it look that way. You could wear a black belt even if you're wearing brown shoes. Oh, okay. Because if you wore, as you can see, it really actually blends into the pants. So as long as it's not a, something that stands out like a red or something strange and off the wall like that, you're, you're good. Now we have a pair of khakis. And once again, you notice the fit of, of the pants. And he's got it kind of in a casual way, dressy casual is what I would call it. Again, he has a different shade of brown, but you can also wear black shoes with this. And he's got a, a lighter color shirt, striped shirt with the cuffs kind of cuffed up a little. That makes it look a little bit more casual, okay. which, is, which is fine. And there's a close-up of the, of the leg, of so the shoe and, and the length of the pants. So dragging against the ground is a no-no. You do not want your pants to drag on the ground. Just for it, lo it looks it it looks dirty, and the pants will get dirty. Do women actually notice that? They do notice that. Okay. There's the back view of the same pair of khakis, and once again, you notice the fit. That's a very very important thing to pay attention to the fit of the pants. 
You can see that they fit him nicely. Very good. Now we have basic black jeans. They almost look like slacks, which in a, in a sense makes them dressier than your average blue jeans that you would wear. So this makes it look a little dressier. Uh, he is actually kind of dressing it down a little bit by the shirt that he's wearing. It looks like a more casual shirt. So, But it does have the potential to be dressier because it's a black jean. I know he's wearing nice shoes, though. He's wearing nice, exactly. You know, if you put on a like a nicer shirt, that'd mm -hmm. be a great outfit for a the club. A great, great, great outfit for the club. With the nice shoes, yeah. It looks like the pants are a little bit too short to me, though. Um, they, they don't no, like they, no, 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 that's not. You, you okay. don't see his socks. Okay. And I don't know if there's going to be a back view of these particular jeans. These are a narrower leg, so it's going to be shorter. The other jeans okay. that we saw were okay. a boot cut. That's why they looked longer. Oh, okay. So, so the it's cut. narrower cut on the leg. Mm -hmm. I believe this would be considered a straight leg, not the skinny jeans that a lot of guys are wearing. Oh, no. Oh, this is God, a straight no. leg. That's what so the nerds or the You uh, could tell by wear. the cut of the legs that it's a straighter leg jean, and that's why it looks shorter. It actually needs to be shorter to fit better. Otherwise, it would bunch up too much around the shoe, and it would look sloppy. But that's a really good fit on, on him as well. There's, uh, there's the back view. You see, you notice it's a little bit shorter. But like I said, it's a straight leg jean, so you want it to be a little bit shorter. You just don't want your socks to show. You don't want to look like you were wearing high waters, as they used to say oh, in yeah, high yeah. school. Flooding. <laughs> flooding, yeah. yeah flood, you don't want yeah. to flood. And you notice that he's, he's not wearing a belt, but the jeans are not sagging off his butt. You know, that's, that's how you can tell really fit. has to go. That's how you can tell that a pair of jeans fit. And you don't want to go too tight, so tight that all your stuff shows, all the bumps and bulges. That's tacky, too. What about dick? You know, some girls now like to see that package down there, don't they? Well, that's the perf personal preference. You but, you know, you're, you're better off being dressed in a tasteful way. You don't, want, you, don't, you don't want to offend anyone. I agree. And there's a close-up of the of the shoes. And you can tell right there, the jeans are still bunched up a little bit around the shoe. That's kind of how you can tell they're not mm -hmm. too yeah, right short. Yeah. So you know they're not short. It's just a straighter cut. Hey, so it's, he must have scuffed his shoe. He scuffed his shoe a little bit. That's a, well, and Your shoes, they will get scuffed, but it's very important to keep them clean. You know, when you notice that your shoes are starting to get a little scuffy, scuffed up, you know, there's that... Uh, uh, Stuff that you can get at uh, just about any store, the, what, oh, yeah. the shoe shining yeah. Yeah. stuff, uh, and you can and you can do that to keep your shoes nice and clean. You now I never knew, important. I never knew what chinos were, and this is the first time I, I didn't I sh never knew these were called chinos. They, it was a f particular fabric that they use for oh, it, okay. and and style it's not really jeans it's not really slacks it's not really khakis it's somewhere okay. yeah and uh this is a wider leg but it's not a boot cut just wider than a straight leg just like a a regular cut jean almost a regular cut uh, pants and uh, he's wearing some kind of a brown loafers with it which is with which the is fine brown belt and he's got the and brown belt blue color there. and the shirt is great it's a great color i wish they would show a full uh photograph of some of the shirts so that you can yeah. really see get the full effect but i think that you would get the idea of what it looks like you have to try things on that's another thing that i recommend when you're shopping you try things on see how things look together Unfortunately, nerds like to wear a lot of uh, those print shirts, like have like Death Leopard or some weird shit on it. The t-shirts, the yeah, logo t-shirts yeah. and stuff, and tennis shoes and stuff. You have to get away from doing that. If you're going out and you know that you're going to be girls. around a lot of women and you want their attention, you have to dress accordingly. Yeah. You know, I always like for guys to wear, you know, like button downs. And that's what the fellows on my site have proven actually works, to wear a button down shirt. Button downs are great. Uh there are some shirts that are not really t-shirts they're like almost like a t-shirt style with those you have to be a little careful because you have True. to be in really good shape bad, to yeah. wear yeah i couldn't to wear, wear those no. those shirts because it does show a get lot back in shape. It, it shows the okay looks like we have a fellow here dressed all in dark he's all in dark a dark pair of jeans it's uh, technically they're black jeans but they're uh, kind of cuffed up at the bottom 
like a charcoal color jeans. They might be. I don't know. It's, it's hard. Like it's hard. Purpose. It's, it's like just turned up. They look a little yeah. long. I don't know how the back of that looks. But if you look, you're looking at this combination. He's wearing all one color, monochromatic. That's what a lot of nerds it. do. They wear one. I do that too. I'm I'm bad. At you that. can do that. I don't recommend you do that a lot because some guys tend to stick with with just Drab that colors. basic colors yeah. like that. You don't want to do that every time. Now, if you notice with him, he can get away with it. He's got the lighter skin tone and dark hair. So because of his dark hair, oh, okay. Okay. it looks really good on him. Okay. And now if he had dark, really dark skin tone then that with that good. dark hair, it would, yeah, he'd disappear into his clothes. Yeah. You want to add some color to uh, stand out. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. Dark now, flannel, which dark is... Dark flannel slacks. Uh, these are dressy, very business-like, and I know most guys don't care for something like this to wear to the club. But what about but women? But they're upscale, but if you're going to an upscale club, this is a good way to go. And mm -hmm. women do like that. They all think, ooh, you know, successful. That's the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, he's he looks like he's doing okay for himself, that kind of a mm -hmm. thing. And you notice he's wearing nice black shoes. Again, the fit of um, the pants and the length mm -hmm. of the pants is very important. I really like that shirt. That shirt is great with it. It's a great color. It's a really good color. Now, if he's got dark hair, which I can't tell, that's really good. If he has uh, blonde hair, blonder hair, lighter color hair, he may want to go with this shirt that's De deeper, in, deeper in blue, okay. a deeper blue, and there's the the sh they're showing the shoes again. It's kind of a camel color shoe, and the fit of and the and the pants. and uh, the length of the of the hem. It's perfect. It's perfect, perfect. You don't want to go longer than that because then it l tends to look too sloppy. You know, unfortunately, a lot of my guys they don't like to take the time, but when they take the time, you look like you're well put together when you actually take time it's a to do your shopping. Fit is very important. That's fit got to be one of the most important things when shopping for clothing. If and it here, doesn't fit right, it's not going to look it's not never going to look right. True that. I see the length the, in the back which you're the talking about. The length is perfect. It's like they it's changed the shirt, a much nicer, you know, for casual. A different a different shirt. It's a dark shirt. But this is what the back of the pants look like and see how it fits on him. It's not why sagging grabbing, on him. Why are you grabbing his ass? <laughs> <sighs> Funny. It's not hanging on him. It's fitting perfectly around the waist area. He's not even wearing a belt. That's how you can tell. If it was, mm -hmm. if he was wearing, not wearing a belt and the pants were starting to fall off of his hips, then you already know that's the wrong fit. Sometimes you have to have things tailored because everybody is different. Your body is not, your clothing is not made to fit everybody perfectly. Sometimes you're in between sizes. So you have to experiment with the sizes and try a size up or a size down just until you get it right. And here we have, an, these are called standard fit jeans. Um, you should be able to find those anywhere. We took these anywhere. photographs from, from Gap, uh, Gap, Old Navy, Old Navy yeah. um, uh, Banana Republic. Banana Republic. You could. Anywhere that sells jeans. If you go to their outlets, happen. you get them real cheap. Absolutely, absolutely. Even if you go to Ross or Marshalls, if there's yeah. those discount uh, well, brand name stores in, mm -hmm. in your area, those always have great, great designer names, name brands for very, very, yeah. very low prices. Yeah, I, I paid like clothing. $19 for my jeans mm -hmm. and $14 for some of them. Yeah. You know, they're really cheap, those stores. But yeah. here we got some standard fit vintage jeans. And what do you yes. have to say about these, the color and fit? The, they, these are a little more casual. And he's actually dressing down with it a little bit. You could tell by the shoes. He's got I like not shoes. really dressy shoes, but they're a little more casual. Hey, those and are better these, are great. these are great. They're absolutely... This is what girls will um, I don't like something like that for the club, but if you're going out to coffee with someone or to a bar, maybe or I don't know. yeah, if you're going to a bar, not going, go not bars. going dance, dancing, yeah. you know, a more casual, laid back kind of a or a date, a movie date or something like that. This is a perfect way to dress. You want to make sure that you represent no matter what you're doing. If you get it, if you when you get that date, you want to represent then too, not just before. 
but also during and after. You really, really need to step it up. And it looks like he's just wearing just a basic um, white shirt. Looks like a button-down shirt that he's got on. One thing that's really important about uh, these photographs is, as you know, probably have noticed, the guys all have their shirts tucked in. Just about every single one has a shirt tucked in. Mm -hmm. Pay very special attention to that. If you're in good shape, you can tuck your shirts in. If you have a little roll around your belly or a little love handles, things that you want to cover up, make sure the shirt is outside of the pants. You mean blousing like you say, or no, not, not you, you can't in. not tucked in. It depends on what kind of shape you're in. The blousing thing works if you have just minimal amount that you can camouflage, you do but you don't want to you don't want to blouse it over too much that it looks sloppy. You well, let me explain to. blousing. Uh, she used to uh, take my shirts and uh, pull them out a little bit, so a little bit of it hangs over, so it kind of minimizes the belly a little bit. And he is. Uh, See, that's what I meant about the shoes. They, they're, you could tell these are actually a boot. Okay. I think they're actually a boot. Okay. And this is sure not, this is almost a boot cut jean, but they border on straight leg. So it's anywhere from a, between a straight leg and a, and a boot cut. It's amazing how, how times have changed. We used to make fun of straight leg pants back in the 70s, you know, because yeah. bell bottoms were the end thing, and now well, yeah. they came, and now they're going back they're, out. They're gone. They're gone yeah. again. They may come back again. You never know, but for now, they're not around. They're, they're non-existent. I like these jeans. These are Straight fits, style, just yeah. a straight, regular, standard fit jeans. With a pair of black shoes. And, and you can't wear boots with this, too, because you can see the, it's wider cut on the yeah. leg at the bottom. Now, this was the look that I always went for when I went to the clubs. Uh, a pair of jeans like that with some black mm -hmm. shoes mm -hmm. like that. Black shoes. And uh, a nice shirt. And a nice shirt, yes. And he's got on a more casual shirt with this photograph, but if he was going to a club, he could he could step it up on the shirt. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how a pair of, nice pair of shoes really make you look so much it better. It makes a big difference. It makes a huge difference in how your outfit looks. It really does. I cannot tell you fellows enough what it did in my game when I ch stepped it up to, you know, nice shoes. And I used to wear, like, comfortable shoes and that is the biggest mistake that nerds will make you will wear some comfortable shoes like mm -hmm. the guy we met in canada he wanted comfortable, comfortable shoes. shoes and like there was a guy at our lecture recently uh, an asian guy said you know but i like these you know he had some black like between tennis shoes and a regular shoe shoe uh, on yeah it's like a and, loafer style yeah loafer I and you know you your shoes are important okay get used to hard shoes You'll get used to them. Trust me, I did. I learned to dance in those things too. So no big deal. If it's, I can do it with my size 14 big ass feet, you can do it. <laughs> it's very doable. Now, I, I know that comfort is important. And don't just buy the first pair of shoes that you find. You have to try on a lot before. And what I recommend is why I always tell the guys is, Put the shoes on, walk around in them while you're maybe looking at other pairs of shoes. Walk around and see how it feels for a few mm -hmm. minutes mm -hmm. and see how it's going to feel. If they start pinching right away, you can already tell it's going to be a bad pair of shoes to buy. Now, these are, his shoes are those new duck bill type things. Yeah, and th those, are, those are nice. Those, those are nice. I like those. But they're very, they're a little bit trendy. So you have to, that and the pointy toe ones that kind of. Like the, the genie boots or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah something big ass they, weird shoes. Yeah, yeah, they're pointy and they kind of stick up on yeah, the, on the yeah. front a little. That's bit. weird. That those are very trendy shoes. Yeah. I think and DJ Dan had a pair of those. He did. He was bragging about it and I kind of laughed at them. <laughs> they're very expensive shoes if you get an, a nice pair, and they're ve but they're trendy, and you have to be really careful with the trends because that's what they are trends and they'll go away soon. So and this is the back view of the same jeans. These are actually Gap jeans because they're the 1969 brand from Gap. Gap has great jeans. They really do. And they're not super, super expensive because there are jeans out there that you can buy jeans for two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500. But you don't have to spend that much. These are uh, usually, most of them there at Gap are under $100 for a pair of jeans. And if you catch their sales, you can get them even, even cheaper than usual. So this is a great, just a really good pair of jeans. You could dress them up or dress them down. And you can see the fit is perfect. He's not wearing a belt. So again, you can tell they're 
His pants are staying up. They're not falling off of him. Pay close attention to that. And there's the view of the of the hemline of the of the jeans, and you can they're perfect. They're just bunched up enough in the front there without being too sloppy. And he's got a great pair of shoes with that. Yeah, these Those are, are different. perfect. These are different shoes. than the other these, shoes. They this showed, is a classic. Yeah. This is a, an example of a very classic pair of shoes. And these are the kind of shoes that they'll never go out of style. So if you don't have a lot of money to spend, I recommend a black pair of shoes in a classic style. And it doesn't have to be the but the um, the lace kind. It can be the slip-on kind, but as long as they have a classic look to them, not mm -hmm. something fancy that you just know is a trend for now and later it'll just be something you throw away in your closet and never wear again. So this is a perfect example of, of a good shoe.